Hey guys, Max Kaler here with AnticStudios.com. Today, I wanted to go over a couple different mapping techniques inside of Resolume Arena 5 and give you some ideas of when you would want to map a certain way. So let's dive right in. We're going to be doing all of our mapping inside of the advanced page of Resolume, which you can get to by going Output Advanced, Otherwise, the keyboard shortcut is Control or Command Shift A. Right away, you'll notice I have one slice, and in my input source, it's pointed to the composition. Let's save and close this and see how it looks. On layer one, I can trigger a visual. On layer two, I can trigger a visual, which will override layer one, and so on. This is going to be nice when you only have one large screen to deal with, whether it's LEDs or projections, and you know that on each layer, you want them to be mapped identically. However, if you have an intricate stage design, odds are you're going to want each layer to look a little different to give you more to play with. So let's go ahead and clear this out and start mapping this a little differently. So I have this hypothetical stage design on layer 3. I'll trigger that. And over on our sources tab, let's drag in a solid color on layer 1 and select it. That way we have a visual source while we map. Let's go back into our advanced tab, command or control shift A. So first things first, let's go ahead and separate layer 1 from layer 3. We'll go over to our slices and we'll duplicate this by either right clicking and selecting duplicate, otherwise it's Control or Command D. And I'm not sure why this just shifted, I think it may have to do with the screen capture software, but uh, good thing with Resolume, we can snap this back into place. We'll rename this slice 3 and point it to layer 3 instead of composition and with our slice 1 we'll point that guy to layer 1 so there we go we have slice 3 layer 3 separated from slice 1 which is layer 1 with slice 1 selected and our output transformation tab open we're gonna grab the transform tool and resize layer slice 1 to fit the shape of our pillar We'll rotate this 90 degrees by hovering over this guy. You can click and drag upwards. If you hold shift, it'll snap every 45 degrees. And we'll place it and snap it to the top left pillar. And kind of resize this here. To dial it in, we can grab our edit points tool, highlight the points we want, and arrow them in. And we'll do the same for the bottom here. By the way, if I arrow if I just hit arrow once, it'll move one pixel at a time. If I hold shift and arrow, it'll move ten pixels at a time. Uh, to do things a little quicker, it uh, is it's kind of nice for that feature. Um, we'll switch back over to our transform tab, and we can alt click and drag this to duplicate. And I'll just dial that guy in, and we'll do this two more times. There we go. Uh, let's actually duplicate this one one more time and make our DJ booth. Remember, Alt. So there we go. Let's save and close this and choose a visual to see how it looks. The output monitor is always going to be just one large image. Um, to see the mapping, you'll either have the stage in front of you, otherwise you can go back into the advance, uh, control or command shift A, see how it looks. Now things are kind of skewed, let's uh, take this DJ booth, um, to keep things organized actually, let's uh, rename all this. You can click one layer, shift click, and right here we'll just rename this all one. With uh, the DJ booth selected, let's go over to our input source. And this is a crop feature, so let's just drag this top down and hold Alt so it's a it's it cropped proportionately right in the, into the center. It's about the shape of the DJ booth. I think the DJ booth is actually a little bigger, so let's go go about there. Go back to our output, and it looks a lot better. Um, let's do the same for our pillars. They're a little more narrow, so we'll we'll crop those a little differently, maybe slightly smaller about there so I'll put transformation cool um, let's go ahead and pause this I want to pause the visual and choose a good point to demonstrate what I'm trying to show you back into our output um, let's make this symmetrical so let's choose this slice and we'll mirror it not like that like that um, 
and we'll choose this other one near that one and now it's symmetrical let's just go ahead and play that visual again and make sure that it's yeah so they're both they're both moving downwards great so that looks a lot better it's going to keep your stage a lot more symmetrical we've got our layers separated and now we can make a new slice we'll drag it underneath three double click uh, name it two and make this layer two so I'm just gonna make this window slightly smaller so I can do a couple different things at, the, at a time here um, we'll choose a visual on layer two and for layer two it's over everything for layer one it's individually mapped um, and let's uh let's change all of these to composition see and this is why we wouldn't want to want it to be set to composition because I have layer two mapped over everything but I have layer one mapped to each pillar and DJ booth separately so it's quite confusing um, that's why we would want to point these slices to different layers so we'll select layer one again point to layer one slice two layer two slice three layer three and there you have it so that's it for this quick tutorial I hope it was helpful to you guys again I'm Max Kaler and hey if you like the visuals in this tutorial you can head over to anticstudios.com and purchase the visual pack it's called VJ survival pack volume 1 it's got a lot of cool textures and patterns along with some alpha layers to trigger visuals underneath um, some skulls and so yeah a lot of great stuff in there alright thanks guys we'll see you next time